Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Wyatt Soley of Fowlerville Football. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good, man. Um, so how's practice been going? And uh, as we enter in week two, and then, of course, we have the scrimmage. Um, It's been going great so far. We've had a good attendance of kids. Everyone's been showing up. Um, Everyone's looking good, our offense, our defense. And we're excited to see what we can accomplish at the scrimmage coming up. Okay, so where is the scrimmage for people that might not know? Um, we're in Schwartz Creek, and it's a, like a four-way scrimmage, I think, this year. Who do you who do you know the teams that are going to be there? Um, well, obviously Schwartz Creek and Goodrich, and then there's always another team, but I don't know who is this year. Okay, and if you're wondering where Schwartz Creek is, it's up in the Flint area. So yeah, um, well, that was for the audience. Um, mm-hmm. so so going into that, I mean, you're gonna have some tough teams. I mean. You know, Shorts Creeks, I believe their coach is coming on this week, obviously, and we all know what Goodrich did last year. So what's that going to be like going down there and facing those uh, those teams and possibly another? Um, It's going to be great for us. Like, um, we have a tough schedule coming up this year. And to see teams like that, like Goodrich went to the state semis, I believe, last year. So seeing a good team like that is going to help us out a ton and prepare for the season and see what our team's got. Okay, so um, so going into you know this this season, of course you're the quarterback now. Um, mm-hmm. you know, obviously with with Brady graduating last year, and you kind of take that role. What's that like? Because uh, you know, obviously it's uh, it, it's definitely how big of a learning curve is it now? Because you're the guy. Um, it's definitely a really big learning curve. But like last year, I got to back up Brady a little bit you know throughout the season so I saw what it takes like from that perspective and like what I'm really learning now is how much faster like varsity gets like it's a completely different level than any like JV football that I've ever played right Uh, what do you feel like the biggest thing you worked on this uh, summer was um I really feel like my leadership like being more vocal towards my teammates I kind of I'm usually more of a quiet kid, you know, don't like not super like yelling at kids, you know, like to get them going. But like this year, I feel like I've really stepped up in that and like um, just trying to be a better teammate. Yeah. So going into this, um, you know, this year, a new head coach, obviously a very familiar face uh, to everybody on the on the team with uh, with with Copeland. What's that been like? Um uh, is has there been much change since uh, since he now has the head coaching spot? I mean, a lot of the staff looks very very similar. Obviously, Coach Fletcher isn't there, but um, is is has there has anything changed, or is it um, or have a lot of things changed? Um, it's been pretty similar. Like there hasn't been a ton of change. Obviously, there's a new offensive coordinator this year. Yeah. Um, but it's still like um, sort of the same offense. You know, we're a little bit more spread out, kind of. And, but nothing's really changed. You know, it's like the same old volleyball football that we've been running for years, and it's all looking good so far. Okay. Okay. I don't think I need to, re- I, you know, obviously it's going to be a very interesting year for this team because I don't know if you've taken a look at, at the schedule, but maybe uh, there's a lot of tough teams on there. And this is, uh, I know this is this is quite the year to enter in uh, with a new head coach and all that. And what's it going to be like going again? Because you're going to be going against some pretty tough teams uh, on at home and on the road, and plus uh, a couple long road trips as well. Mm, it's um, I think it's going to be great. Like facing that type of competition, um, it's exciting to see what we get to play against, and it's exciting to see what our team's made of. Yeah. So what have you kind of really, how, how much have you kind of just worked with some of the receivers that you've had and uh, who are some of the, who's really kind of helped you out with, uh, with getting used to being the QB and all that? Um, For the receivers, we've had seven on seven, like all summer long, yeah. you know, and even like we'd go around, like a lot of the receivers are like some of my best friends growing up. So we've always played football together. So we've always kind of had that connection. So we've been just working at that, and we you like get together and throw the ball around sometimes, you know, just work on our timing. And to help me at quarterback, it's really been 
um, our offensive coordinator. He was our – he was the father of a quarterback a couple of years ago. So, like, he's just kind of been explaining me – explaining to me what it takes and, like, all the reads I have to take, my steps, my footwork, and he's been a huge help in that. Who is the father of OLC, just, uh, just for people that might not know? Um, It's Nick Semke. Okay. All right. That's mm-hmm. – uh... That would be a very familiar name to Fowlerville. Uh, yeah. Long time followers of Gladiator football. Mm-hmm. Um, so what's it going to be like going out, um, you know, that first game against Corona? I think it's, uh, you know, it's a very, very solid, you know, it's a, it's a solid team. I don't think I have to remind you about how, I mean, this is a good, this is a solid team, of course, with, uh, with the Bauer twins and uh, all the, all the stuff that they have. And I know that coach Eric's always going to bring, um, a good team there, but what's it going to be like opening up the season with them? Um, I think it's going to be a great test to see what our team can do. And it's nothing that we like haven't prepared for. We're preparing for it. And it's going to be exciting to see, to play against such a great level of competition. I have much respect for the Bauer twins and their, what Corona has done for the past few years. And I think it's going to be fun. Yeah. All right. Let's get to know you a little bit. Why? How about that? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, what is uh, what is your favorite um play to run? Oh gosh, I would probably say. Um, I like deep stuff, like okay. post across the middle. Here we go. Corners, yeah, like all that stuff is my favorite to run. Um, what what's like uh what's like a pregame meal you have before a game? Oh. Um, I always have Subway before the game. I always go and get a sub before the game and eat it while I'm getting ready. Subway is always the, the, the thing like, uh, the thing that everyone goes to. Yeah. It's right. nice and easy. Yeah. What's on. Okay. What is on Wyatt Soli's playlist? Oh gosh. I would say it's not even, it's like a mix of, um, old school, like just rock I don't even know what I listen to. I change it up every year usually. Okay. Okay. Um, what's uh what's your favorite sports team to root for, bud? Oh, the line uh MSU actually. Okay. I mean, yeah. well, there's football, there's basketball, there's that like, yeah, it's like everything and all mm-hmm. that. I know that you guys are so close to the college, and I know that I know that the uh I know they I know with um with that, so yeah. Did you always yeah. grow up going to games and stuff and all that? Yeah. I've always been a Swartons fan ever since I can remember. Um, yeah. We've always been going to games with my dad and stuff. Yeah. It seems like, uh, yeah, it seems like every, you know, the, the closer you get to East Lansing, the more Spartan fan, fans you find. So yeah, that's usually what, that's usually what happens, but uh, mm-hmm. um, okay. So um and the fi- and the final thing is what are three things people do not know about Wyatt Sully? Oh my gosh. Uh this one's going to be tough. Mm, I played Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Um okay. I'm a huge like old country fan kind of. Okay. Like I like country music. Um Gosh darn. Yeah. I can't even think right now. It's okay. All right. Maybe okay. I got something else. All right. All right. Um hmm. What is hmm? Okay. No, I got it. The the most controversial question ever. Rank your top five fast food restaurants. Okay. So okay. here's how this works. Um you can do any um the um so any regular normal fast food restaurant or you can do the premium fast food restaurants those are like your Kidobas, chipotles and all that restaurants count actual sit down restaurants count too and also one is the is your is your favorite and then five is okay it's still my favorite but there's four others ahead of it okay so number one would probably be like a hibachi restaurant definitely okay like all that stuff um where two, is where is is there one close to Fowlerville cuz I don't know There's one in Howell it's like Bluefin Yep okay. that's pro- that makes sense Yep that's my favorite definitely Yeah Um number 2 would probably be like a steakhouse of some sort I'm a heat like love steak Yeah that's like my favorite meal Number 3 
I'd probably have to go, gosh, Chick-fil-A maybe Okay. at number three. Okay. Um, number four would probably be like Chinese food, like any type okay. of Chinese food. Yeah. And number five would be, oh, man, I, I love Taco Bell. Taco Bell is good. Taco that's Bell. probably, that's Taco like, the stuff, isn't it? Yeah, coming off the top of my head, probably number five, Taco Bell. I mean, there's a Taco Bell close to the high school, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Wyatt, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us, and uh, best of luck this season, bud. Oh, thank you for having me.